Oh, Tammy, you're waving. Are we on? Is it called a hologram? I'm not sure. We're that weird. Yep. Yeah, look, <laughs> look at her shirt, everybody. <laughs> uh, don't look too much. Maybe your eyes are going to go crazy. And you're going to get dizzy. I don't know. I think but it's pretty cool. Well, maybe we, it doesn't translate that much for them, but for us, it looks like... <laughs> it looks like it's going <laughs> weird. <laughs> it's just a little black and white stripe. I know. It's pretty cool. So good morning, and it is November 1st. It's not often we get to greet you on the very first day of a mm -hmm. brand new month. And we have to scrape ice off our... Or not ice, frost off our windows. Yeah. I did anyway. Yes. Well, I didn't scrape it because I'd take the garbage out, so I let it oh. defrost a bit while I was running around taking that out. Well, except for the people who have garages that they park their vehicles in. They didn't have to do that. Well, it'd be nice if I could actually put my car in the garage, but that doesn't happen. Anyway, there, look at there's Wendy and Debbie and Dale and people are joining us this morning. And Pat, you oh, Pat, it? you make me laugh. There's Joey, Quilty. That's Gail. Yep. Um, <coughs> rather, Joanne. And there's Melanie and Susan. Oh, and Tammy Walker. We're going to see you soon. Oh, and happy day to Louise. It is and a nice Shelley, yeah. fresh morning. It is a fresh morning out there. It was a fresh night last night. It was beautiful, though. I wonder how the little... Well, it, there was snow earlier. Did you see? Yeah, but it stopped. And then when we were out walking around, it was chilly, but it was beautiful. And then it every once in a while, it sprinkled. Mm -hmm. Did everybody have... Um, very many trick-or-treaters. It was pretty cold for the little ones last night. We've had worse. Well, growing up, we had snow pants. We had under, worse. Because up north, I mean, it was quite often. I mean, we had our wonderful snow pants and stuff under our costumes and waddled around. <laughs> That's what it felt like. There's Barbara Sherwood. And so Doris, Sue, Kathy. So I'm nobody's over. saying much about their little trick or treaters, so I don't know. If many it was very quiet where we were. Well, so I, I looked out know. the window and really just didn't see anybody. We just. I'm sure there were certain neighborhoods that got hit pretty good. <laughs> yeah, there's. We just don't have many little ones in our neighborhood at all. So, there's Carla. Oh, Debbie had over a hundred. Wow, what'd you give out, Debbie? <laughs> there's lots of chips. I should have sent you a picture. Adri had a haul on the coffee table that we went through that I snuck some stuff out of. Oh. Yeah. Too much junk. But for a trick or treater somebody said, yeah. Anyway, I'm kinda glad that's over. Now uh we move on to another season. Getting ready for Remembrance Day. Mm-hmm. And they'll be here shortly. It will. So what do we have that people might win today? All right. Somebody just said snowy London. My son in Toronto had 600. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's like an investment into your uh, treats that you're giving out. Oh. All right. For door prizes, I have a little uh, pouch. It's, uh, it's a little Hunter. Hunter Star? No. Lemoyne. Lemoyne. I knew that wasn't right. So that there's everything in the kit to make that. I have a Susan Cleveland Prairie Pointer. So you can learn to do prairie points and do them the proper way, I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm sure she has some techniques. And then I grabbed some more of those poured in color fat quarters and I picked purple this time. So they're gorgeous fat quarters. There's seven of them. So make a comment and then we will do the draw at the end. Karen Marshallton says they had about 150 happy little ones. Somebody said she had 50 in Dunville. And uh, um, somebody just said they had 200. Oh, anyway. Lots of candy up there. Yeah. There'll be a lot of... I, I have to feel sorry for the teachers this morning. Mm. You know, especially after lunch. <laughs> <laughs> because there'll probably be a lot of those treats in their lunches. And they'll just be... It could be interesting. A little wired. Now... Is anybody else noticing Tammy's shirt shimmering? Is it doing it that? Oh, you must be home, Teresa. 30. 15. <clears throat> Is her shirt kind of wiggling on you guys so that it kind of... <laughs> yeah, see? So Susan had six. All right, a whopping six. And on the playground, yeah. Some kids can't handle the sugar very well, and it, it becomes a problem. 
It does. I remember John had a friend that it was just like, oh my gosh. We took him on a trip with us and it was like peeling him off the ceiling of the car. And it was like, no more for Sean. <clears throat> okay, so we have door prizes. We did that, yep. So I have a few things that came in that I'd like to show you. Uh, there's a pattern by Shabby Fabrics and it's Holly and Barry's Table Runner. So that pattern is 16. I was going to see what size. Oh, 23 by 50. So it's a good size pattern. There's also... And this is the same one that did that uh, really cute uh, Christmas morning one. They do very nice okay. applique patterns. And then there's From the Heart, uh, three pillow designs. And this would be applique also. Like you could certainly do that. If you had a scan and cut, you could do it on there, Teresa. But um, this looks like a Betty Ann Sphinx project to me. <laughs> I think she has done that one before. I'm not sure if she's or done Or something that similar. Yeah. And then I have one uh, walk book by Jackie Gearing, all about mastering your machine quilting with your walking foot. So that's a pretty interesting book. And I know we've had this in the past, but now that they've put it in the binder format, or what do you call that? Spiral binding. Spiral binding. So it's much easier to open and leave things where you want them to be as reference as whereas before you had that book that wouldn't stay open yes so they've done a really nice job changing that so it's a little easier to use well, lots of great information and she's awesome and that book is 56. we have this sweet little one here that you could um it's a silhouette and it's got the um well i'll just start again here it has the embroidery hoop and the hardware and this is um, pre laser cut so you see you can fix him all up so it's a silhouette hoop collection and it's a cute little snowman and it's $28 so that's in a 10 inch hoop so that, that could be fun we have some little calendars here. Oh, I must have dropped a couple. I dropped at least People one. People are them. looking forward to uh, planning 2024, and so you need a calendar for appointments and things. So and this we still one, have a bunch of these. Yeah, and this is a two-year calendar, so it goes into 2025. So we have a couple of pretty designs there. They're $8.50 each. And then we have the Lori Holt uh, Home Calendar. Hometown. This is a very pretty calendar for 2024. And this calendar is $41.99. We have the American Quilter Society. This is such a beautiful quilt here on the front. And this one is $22.50. And you can see all the different ones that you would see each month. Yeah, some beautiful projects. Yeah. I was looking at some of the quilts from Quilt Market that they had on um, YouTube, and I've been following some of those. There were some spectacular mm. quilts there this year. Um, somebody had done a tour, and I was, yeah, it was just amazing. Then we have this red and green antique quilts. This is very pretty. Beautiful work on that. And this one is $27.99. Very traditional, but absolutely gorgeous quilts. So that calendar is available. We also thought that we would, uh, we're kind of talking about dressing your table, so I'm just getting a few things. It's kind of the time of year where you're doing some placemats or table runners or they, you're sewing up gifts to give away at Christmas time. So we have this tartan holiday placemat panel and there's four in a uh, panel. Oh, that was a word. And um, the each placemat is 12 inches by 18 inches. They're the very pretty. There's two of each, right? Yeah, two of each that match. And so it looks like you've pieced it, but you know they've done a great job with their um, fabric placement. And you just put this pretty um, gold gold on the back. So there's that that you could dress up your table with. Uh, we also have these um, Ohio Star runners. There's the farmhouse style runner with that color scheme and you know this could look very nice at Christmas too because if you put reds and greens on this it's a good neutral it is that could, build on yeah. this could be really stunning so this one's 15 and a half by 45 and a half and the kit includes all the top fabrics 
your binding and your backing, and then you just provide your own batting for 52. So oh. there's this farmhouse colorway. Everything in, and you know, that's see, this is so nice because everything's there, and everybody has a little bit of leftover batting. So there's the blue version. A lot of people like the blue and white. Keeps it nice and fresh. It does. And the tartan placemat, somebody's just asked. Beth Horn just said, how much was that again? They are 15 for 15. the panel of four. And then there's also this warm floral one. As I know Arlene likes to switch out her table runners seasonally or maybe more than seasonally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so some of us really like to have fun with that. And look how pretty yeah, that the back is. And that you just flip over in the summertime or in the spring when you want some color and you can have a lot of fun with that. Mm -hmm. Speaking of runners, maybe this is a time to show that other one. Okay. Teresa will remember this. Teresa DeSantis was working on a runner at um, Retreat with some of our border fabric. And Carmen was sitting across from her and was, was inspired. And she did her pinwheels bigger. But this is a border print with pinwheels down the middle, which gives you some versatility. So we thought that we could show you what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's right there. Sorry. I'm we thought digging. we could show you um, a few other border fabrics that might give you some ideas. So you can see that's where she started with. Mm -hmm. So she used the pumpkin strip, but you know, you still have the crows that you could do something else with. Yeah, because Teresa did like little tiny um, pinwheels and Carmen did the bigger ones, but I think just really effective. Mm -hmm. And then you just bind it. So we thank you for that idea, Teresa. And we just thought, oh, we'll show these here and give people some more ideas. So, you know, for Christmas season, this is the Canada Christmas. This would make print. a this would make a beautiful one because you could, you know, cut kind of right in here and put something nice and bright. Yeah, because out of this options. one you could get a you could get a couple out you of it. You could get a few just depending on where you decide to cut. And then there's also this one. You know, if you want some color on your table, you can pick some of the colors and do the same thing. Or, you know, if you don't want to do pinwheel, you can always pick another block. And, you know, you could cut these for placemats also. Mm -hmm. These would be very stunning in placemats and then do a runner to match them. So we just want to point out some of the versatility, really, of some of these border prints. So not just a border on a quilt, but, you know, there it is as a runner. It could be placemats. I mean, look There's how a softer one. Yeah, look how feminine this one is. And I mean, we have some other really beautiful Jason Yenter ones upstairs too. We didn't bring them all down. We just thought we would bring a few and show you. But they would make beautiful placemats. They're gorgeous runners. And um, just having it quilted like that, how lovely. So Carmen, we thank you for sharing that with us so that we could borrow that to show everybody today. And Teresa for the ideas. Also, you know, like it's, uh, if you're looking, sometimes we just want a gift and it's a last minute gift. That wouldn't take long to put that together and you could have a gift. You know, you're right. It would not take long. Okay. And, you know, we were talking about, um, well, we're going to do that next week. This is next week. We forgot to bring. Oh, okay. But, oh, I wanted to show this. There's one last. What did I drop? Oh, it was just my water. Okay. Snowman panel. The Santa? No, snowman. Well, I guess there was a snowman, but Santa and the snowman. This mm -hmm. is the last panel, 44 inches by 44 inches, mm -hmm. and it's 22. Well, let's make it 18. That's the last one you said? Last one. How beautiful is that? All right, so 18 for that. Okay. And do you want to do classes now, or did you want to do yours? Well, let's see if we can lift this up, and maybe I'll get this in, you get that in. Oops. You have the machine? I have the machine. Okay. okay. I'm trying to think of the best way. You need to go up a little more? I think we need to come up and over into this area. Okay. So we we have got in a limited amount of So Steady suspension system and it's it's a two pack, so you get two. And I'm just going to open this and tell you a little bit about it and then show it to you. So in the package, you get, this is all coiled up, but I'm not gonna undo it just so that we can put it back in the package. 
and you're going to, it goes together very easy, you're going to undo this clip and you're going to snap that ball in there and what that does is it allows this piece to articulate and you're going to see that this is, this clamp opens and then here on the bottom and you'll be able to see it closer when we show you. This opens up. We're going to twist that nicely. It opens up and this clamp, righty tighty, lefty loosey, I have to always remember that, this will open up and slip onto your, your acrylic table. And what it's going to do, we can come in a little closer. Can we come in a bit here? Oh, I'm just trying to we're looking at another camera so we can slide the whole thing over. Slide over. Okay. So then yeah, now we can see that. Okay, so clip. what what this will allow you to do is this takes the weight off your machine. I put this on this smaller acrylic table so that you can machine quilt. And when you clamp these on, you're just gonna take this little roller and you're going to put it under your quilt and you're going to open it up and what it does is it takes the weight off your quilt so you're not having to hold that in your hands and manipulate it so you can then do your free motion underneath without having all of that weight so if you're doing you know something that is more complicated um, here it is, and this is great for smaller projects. I just put it on this small so steady table. So these are typically $50 US for the set. And I did was able to get a promotion on a limited number of them, and we're going to do them for $50 Canadian. So it's really, you know, just sometimes when we're trying to manipulate a quilt and there's all this weight on our shoulders and we're mm -hmm. trying to get it, these will hold it up and you can position these anywhere on the Oops. table I guess I was that you want too. to. I'm going to just take this off so maybe they can see that a little better. Yeah, and these but arms it, maneuver and you know that that's quite a firm grip on that claw. Like it doesn't just open. Yes, and it's those, it's these that go underneath your quilt to hold it on. So this is a suspension system by the So Steady people. Now we also, um, it looks like a big roller. Doesn't yeah, it's like, like I wanted roller. to touch it. We'll see what the texture felt like. Yeah, but it's grippy so that it would stay on. Yeah. And then that, yeah, that would fit in there. With your now, can we come in a little closer again, Arlene? Will it? Okay, also these, um, the tables for the featherweight, these tables are back in stock again and they are $222. So these are the nice acrylic tables that slide right onto your featherweight. Now in the box, it does come with a little polish kit, right? And the polish kit is included yeah, with so it, Yeah, so you yes. can keep this nice and shiny. You can see I've been, this is my personal one and it's uh, had a little bit of use on it, so. Well, that's what they're for, right? Absolutely. But just wanted to show you how easy these clamp on and clamp off. We're gonna come in close again, I think, just so they can just see that that just slides off and then you can clamp that right on. So, and because that's adjustable, you can get that to be fairly wide and then it's just by tightening it down. There's a really good video on the Sew Steady site that you yeah. can watch and uh, she does that very, very nicely. But we wanted to introduce that to you today. So this is there's the So Steady suspension system. <coughs> and as I mentioned, um, we have a limited number at that price. So this could be um, something that maybe is on your Christmas list mm -hmm. or something that will help you and help your shoulders when you are doing some machine quilting. Okay, so I'm gonna just slide this off. I'm gonna put this sewing machine back over here. That one was a little bit more awkward to try to uh, to demo, but I guess I could have inserted the video that they had. But well, I think this I gives think you that idea. You, but they, um, but so you could certainly look it up. But I really like it because it it really does allow you to move your stuff around. It does get hard on uh, your shoulders. Yeah, it does. Because like even right? if you're doing a bigger quilt. 
I mean, and you're putting your binding on sometimes. At least there's something to kind of, it's that third and fourth hand to hold it in place. Thanks, Karen. Somebody said bless you. Because oh. I sneezed. <laughs> oh, how sweet is that, Karen? Thanks, Karen. All right, anyway. I think we forgot uh, a table runner. But since we were doing table runners. It's this little, what does it say? Fruit jar tree, a little Christmas tree. kind of reminds me of like Charlie Brown kind of Christmas. But there's a runner kit with everything in it. All your fabrics, your uh, instructions, and it's 55. Yeah, this is one of the Riley Blake kits. Um, actually, upstairs they're 25% off, so. 25% oh, off. This one must not have got the sticker. I see that. <laughs> okay, so 55 minus 20%, 25%. So, that's a good deal, ladies. Good morning, Marjorie. So should we do the quote behind us or show and tell? Let's do show and tell. We love show and tell. Mm -hmm. I don't even know exactly what we have. Oh, this Megan. is Megan. And this is what she did with her leftover bits. Of her Lori Holt fabrics because she made that. Isn't that... Oh, it's just darling. And those little half square triangles were tiny. Really tiny. But so she... She made that, and then with her leftover, she made the other piece. And she had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And there is Gail Harris, and she has made this bag for, she thought this would be perfect for traveling in the airport. Yeah, she showed me all the pockets and how it um, sits on your carry-on with the handle. You know, the handle comes through so it doesn't fall off, and she did a beautiful job. She did. And this is Gail Bell, and she was in, and she is sporting... Tim Holtz fabric and it's a jacket that she designed. Yeah, she made it. Designed it and it's, it's beautiful and all quilted. And we were just like, oh, no, you have to pose for us because this is just a beautiful jacket. It was a perfect day to wear it too on Saturday. It was. Yeah. And this is Darlene's applique class that she had last week, yep. Saturday. Saturday, there's, some <laughs> there's Marilyn and Brenda. They had a great time. And another Brenda and Joan. Mm -hmm. And there's another Brenda. Oh, that's Brenda at the back behind yep. Joan. And Susan. And I'm not going to remember the last one. And I should, anyway. Sorry about that. And there's Sherry. And Diane. Diane. So they got... With Darlene, yeah. Yeah, they got... Uh, they, they made great progress and had a good time. Right. So the quilt behind us is a new kit that we just finished and uh, we really love it. The colors, we just, it's something different that we haven't done in a while. It's using the Trade Winds line. There's um, a lot of reds in here and I, we're hoping it shows up red to you. I think it was 60 by 72. Yeah, I forgot to grab a kit and it was $165. So, and this, um, if you have an AccuQuilt, this makes it, these half square triangles a lot easier too, quicker. But this is just um, a beautiful traditional quilt. And we like the idea of the, just the L. You, you won't be able to see because the bottom, right? Here, we can just fold that up a bit. But. And now it's not just a pattern. It's actually one of the Annie's quilt books, uh, two color quilts. And so that book alone has eight patterns. So this is one of the ones we chose out of it. So you're getting a more than just a pattern in the kit. Yes. There's lots of good future projects too. For sure. Thank you. And then Carmen very graciously, we thought, you know, that uh, some of these three yard kits are absolutely perfect for Christmas and some seasonal giving. And she used this little nine plus one was the um, pattern that she selected mm -hmm. and she's got these adorable this adorable snowman print and some snowflakes in the background and then this red print and uh, this worked up quickly and looks just lovely. I wonder if we should uh, I yeah, I think so you can so. see the snowman. Yes yeah, so I'm thinking that it's just not showing. The pattern looks great from a distance but you want to see the cute uh, little snowman. Look how cute that is and she has the snowman on the back. So three yard quilts are always a good Little, uh, They're so versatile. Project, yeah. yeah. They really are versatile. I'm gonna take that pin out before we get stabbed, Tammy. Okay. And then we should probably go over some classes. Okay. 
Uh, Darlene has two tree skirt classes coming up. And so this is the Triple Dresden, and it's actually a quilt as you go. So when you are finished your tree skirt, you're not worried about finishing the back. You're going to be doing that as you're working in the class. And uh, Darlene will be teaching that Wednesday, November 8th, and Saturday, November 25th. There's still room in the classes. And we've had different uh, color combos being picked out already. There's one that's all like creamy, and there's blues and silvers, and you know, the traditional. So they'll all look different. Um, we also still have room in the featherweight maintenance class, Saturday, November 18th with Ian. Uh, in the rope bowl class, we also have room Tuesday, November 21st with Bonnie. And the twisted charm with Louise is Wednesday, November 22nd. And there's four spots available there. And we also added a new Dresden plate uh, wall hanging class, the one that we just finished with Gladys because there was more interest. So that's Tuesday, November 28th. And then Louise is also doing another freestyle logs. So you can check out our website because they're all there, right? You yes. Got that all updated. Yep. And I'll be working on it some more this morning. The Mondo bag class is full, but if you know you're interested, we can probably do another day at another time. And then we also wanted to let you know there's some dates that you might want to put on your calendar. Yep. Tuesday, November 16th is going to be our Christmas open house. Mm -hmm. So just a teaser on that. So maybe that's a date you might want to circle. And... Our annual, it'll be, oh, I think it's going to be is this 13, 14? 14? 14 or 15 years we've been doing this. I'll have to check for sure. Stuff My Stocking. Mm -hmm. And that's going to start November 28th and run through to December 9th. And that way, by running it a little earlier, there's plenty of time to get things in the mail to you and everybody to have things picked up. So there's no, you know, rushing around Christmas time and plenty well, of time for things to be delivered. And also if you're picking some things for stocking stuffers or whatever, you can and plan for that, right? We have curated some really neat things for you this year. Yeah. So I think that uh, you're going to like the staff picks. We always have fun. We do. Can you clarify the open house date? You said Tuesday and I believe it's a Thursday. Oh, it, it is a Thursday. Thursday. Yes. And I said Tuesday? Oh my goodness. Well, there's it's lots of Tuesdays on the list. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's Thursday. November 16th. So so start your cars. Anyway, so circle the date. So there'll be more information as we get closer to, right? Yeah. But we just wanted you to give be you able a heads plan. Up. Yeah. yeah. Give you a heads up on the date. And I know Kathy Kouth was um, very gracious. She had asked if we were having one and included it in the Dunville Guild newsletter. Oh, good. So thank you, Kathy. Wonderful. Okay. So, so I think that's it. Door prize time. It is. We always like that. We like to see who's going to be our winner. So let's so see who the winner is for the pouch. Ann Roy. Ann Roy. Congratulations, Congratulations Ann. The Prairie Pointer. Nancy Robson. Nancy Robson. Congratulations, Nancy. And the little uh, fat quarter bundle, cord color, is Catherine Leach. Catherine Leach, congratulations. All right. Let me know if you're going to come in and visit us and pick them up, or we can, of course, mail them. So thank you very much for joining us today, and uh, have a great week. Have I think, a great week. And we have a retreat coming up this well, we weekend. Do. Yeah. So some of you I will be seeing on Sunday. Looking Sounds forward good. to that. Okay.